How you doing guys and gals? Uh, recording this right after my Grave Encounters review and I got accidentally pressed the stop button. So if you're watching this one after Grave Encounters then you know why I started talking and then I stopped. Uh, this is my lovely friend Steve. Uh, he's not looking too well because, well he can't look well. He's a, he's a head on a lamp. I can talk like this. I can do this. Can I? Okay. Well, my video review for this one, uh, the second movie I watched this weekend was Hellraiser. The first Hellraiser. Uh, the 1987 uncut version of Clive Barker's Hellraiser. Now, the funny thing that I have to say, that I have to admit, is I have never watched Hellraiser from beginning to end. Yes, I know, I'm supposed to be the person who has watched all these movies and have had all these experiences with film and cinema. And I have watched a lot of movies, but Hellraiser is one of those things where when it came out, I was born in 89. So when I was growing up, my, my family didn't want me to watch anything like that. I mean, I took it upon myself when I was eventually a double digit age and I had to sneak and watch Fist of the North Star on Showtime. Uh, I watched Oz on HBO. Um, I, I watched Deadwood and a bunch of other, you know, TV shows and movies that were horrible. Like, I watched Scarface when I was, like, nine. <laughs> like, I, I took it upon myself to be more avid in my movie watching. But anyway, Hellraiser was one of those things that I, I either saw it on TV and I was too young to understand it. Uh, it was too weird to me, or I didn't have enough experience in the genre of movies. So if Hellraiser doesn't interest you, try a few other other gory movies that, that have that same kind of tone. Because I can guarantee you, Hellraiser is a type of movie that you have to commit to. It's one of those movies that have such a, such a cool, like, mythology that you, you have to watch all of them. And I haven't seen any of the other ones. I have the entire collection, and I'm going to be watching them chronologically. But I was told the story by my lovely girlfriend, fiancé, and she loves the movies. It's one of those series that you just have to watch. And the first Hellraiser was really good. And the, the best part I liked about it was the actual effects, like the, the real, you know, prosthetics and the, the gooey blood and the skin. And, like, it's awesome for an, a 1987 movie. I mean, The Thing came out in 1983, and that was phenomenal special effects work. Like, I just, I have to give props for how well it... Like, it looks, and the stop motion when the, the corpse and the ribs and the fingers and bones are coming up and making making a human skeleton again, it's fucking amazing. Like, pardon my French, but it's fucking amazing. Um, it's just one of those things that you have to watch. But the plot of Hellraiser, if you do not know, is that hell is real, uh, makes no... No mention of a heaven. It's not a religious movie. It's kind of a religious movie, but not in the sense you think. I mean, it's a belief and a fact. And the belief is that there are forces in this world that give you the option to choose pleasure or pain. It's, you know, sadomasochism and um, pleasure. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. And the whole thing is, you can't really choose. It's what your soul has in it. So if you think you're good and you actually solve the, the Dibu box, it's a, it's a Dibu box. It's a damn Dibu box. If you don't know what a, uh, a Dibux or a Dibu box is, it is Pandora's box, pretty much. It is a mythical object that can give you visions and manifestations of your deepest and darkest desires, but it can also unleash hell on you and, and torture you and, and I was going to say manipulate, but, um, uh, oh, what's the word? Mutilate. That's the word. Um, but, you know, you don't want to open it, but this whole series is saying that it, the, it, Pandora's boxes is, is there. 
but you have to solve it. And it's not for everybody. You have to want it. So what happens is if you get to choose pain, uh, what was it? Pinhead, uh, what's it? Butterball, Chatter, and the female, the mother, Deep Throat, whatever you want to call her. They come to you and they pretty much fuck you up. Um, they, they will torture you for eternity because eventually it'll turn to pleasure. Uh, it's weird, I guarantee you. But it's interesting to watch, and it's a, it's a late 80s movie, so the film isn't as crisp as what you would see in a newer movie. The effects are actual effects. There's no CGI bullshit. There are some visual effects that Clive Barker and a, a Greek guy did on a drunken weekend because they lost money and they didn't have enough uh, funding for special effects production when they finished the movie. So they you know, finished the production in their house. But it's very entertaining, it's very fulfilling, and it, it starts the beginning of this entire almost... There's almost ten movies in, in the collection. And it's not a movie for everybody. Hellraiser is not a first pick for some people that I, you know, I know. There's, there's different types of movie people. Um, but if you like movies like Saw or um, Hostel, it'll be easy for you to watch a movie like this. If you like movies like... Uh, what's another one? I can't really think right now. But give it, give it a chance. That's all I say is give it a chance, because if you start watching it, you'll, you'll be interested. You'll be curious of what goes on. Um, but I will give more views on the Hellraiser series as I watch them. But Hellraiser 1 is definitely a good introduction, good special effects, impeccable story that doesn't give everything in the first movie. I mean, it was only supposed to be two movies, but it turned out to be close to nine. I can't really remember how many is in the series. But um, I strongly recommend watching Hellraiser, but only if you're one of the people that would enjoy it. I'm not going to tell someone who's overtly Christian that, that almost vomited when they watched The Passion of the Christ. That's not the people that need to be watching this movie. But if you watched, you know, gory movies before, you're not going to be thrown off by watching someone's skin get ripped off by hooks. You're not going to be, you know, at ends when you watch someone's life source being sucked out of the back of their head with someone's fingers. That's not going to bother you. But it's definitely a movie that you have to immerse yourself in. It's, it's not just a movie where you can be like, Hey, I watched it, and Jason Statham, you know, wrecked a car and shot some people. Yeah, it's a movie. This is a journey. This is a story. I mean, it's a tale. Uh, what do I give Hellraiser uh, before the nine minute mark? Uh, I can say, I can say three out of five, four out of five, four out of five is a good, good thing. But uh, thank you for watching, and this has been the Pause Menu for another video review on my iPhone.